Two of the following videos are right, true, while go. the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round two, let's begin. If you take a piece of graphite pencil lead and place it across Not the terminals of a 9 volt battery, you can touch a match to the graphite and the match will light. That's plausible. It's going to heat up. I'm also pretty sure Electroboom's done that. If you drop food dye into a glass of water, the food dye slowly sinks and mixes with the water like this. However, sure. if you place a bunch of sugar in the water and stir it up to dissolve it, now when you drop food dye into the glass, the food dye will rise back to the surface and not immediately mix like before. If you put enough sugar in there that you significantly increase the density of the water, then yeah, I believe that. If you place two inflated balloons of slightly different size on both ends of a PVC valve, when you open the valve, air will flow from the larger balloon to the smaller balloon until there's the same amount of air in each. No, that's not going to happen because the smaller balloon's at a higher pressure and it's going to flow from high pressure to low pressure. That's actually how the emergency core cooling system is designed at a nuclear power plant. We use pressurized accumulator tanks to rapidly inject water. So if there's a sudden loss in reactor pressure, these emergency accumulators will inject fast and keep the core safe. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Graphite gets so safe. hot enough that it can ignite the match. When dropped into denser sugar water, the food dye does rise back to the surface yep. instead of mixing right away. That means this video is fake. The air actually goes from the smaller balloon to the larger balloon when the valve is open. Because it's a higher pressure.